Run for your life! I'll cover you! Cheers, guys. Swine here back again with another laser disc uh, collection update at uh, late night laser discs, and um, this time I'm uh, received a couple of packages. Uh, it contains some late releases and some Criterion discs, and also one of my Holy Grails that I'm really happy to have uh, received. So. Um, We'll just uh, go through them, there is um, quite a few uh, discs and we'll start off with uh, the last picture show. Uh, this one came out in uh, 1971 and was uh, awarded a whole bunch of Oscars. It's um, filmed in uh, black and white and I must say I have not seen this, I'm a pretty, pretty ashamed about that. But uh, now there is time to do something uh, with that, so I'm going to spin this um, in uh, the next couple of days. Looking forward to that one. It's with uh, a lot of good actors like Sybil Shepherd, Timothy Hutton, uh, no Timothy Bottoms and Jeff Bridges. Yeah, a lot of a lot of good uh, actors. Um, uh, next one, uh, Being Human with uh, Robin Williams and. This one came out in 1994. Um, this was after the, the Mrs. Uh, Dubfire, uh, and this time he also do um, uh, multiple uh, characters. Uh, I miss this guy so much. Uh, every time I I see him, and it's yeah one of my favorite actors of all times. Um, next one, Trigger Effect, uh, Elizabeth Shue, Kyle MacLaughlin. Uh, it came out in 1996, uh, directed by David Cope. Uh, he's done a whole lot of writing from, yeah, like Jurassic Park, uh, Carlitos Way, Panic Room, he did uh, the screenplay or the writing for. So um, this is one of my favorites. I think it's a really, really good uh, movie and also like a hidden gem uh, for a lot of people. Would uh, recommend to uh, watch Trigger Effect. Um, Evita, uh, 1996, uh, Madonna and uh, Antonio Banderas uh, also Looking for this one at the, as the signature collection series um, that I want to complete someday. Uh, Stevens King It, the 1990 version, not the new one. So I'll just go through them. Uh, Yubal, uh, one of the early appearances of uh, Charles Bronson. Uh, this one is from 1956 with uh, Ernst Borgnine, Glenn Ford. Um, this one I had to pick up because of the very, very nice uh, artwork. Deer Hunter from 1978. This is a pan and scan version, so I would recommend to pick up the widescreen version if you're going to watch it. I did watch this in uh, pan and scan, and it was not like the worst pan and scan uh, versions out there, but uh, you do miss some stuff, so go get the widescreen one. Another Elvis double feature, uh, both films from 1968. It's uh, Stay Away Joe and uh, Love a little, uh, live a little, live a little, love a little. Uh, Stay Away Joe is one of the worst Elvis movies in all times, and uh, uh, Live a little, love a little is uh, considered to be one of the better. So, um, <laughs> uh, but I did uh, watch uh, Stay Away Joe first. I haven't seen it before. 
and uh, then I'm going to watch uh, Live a Little Love a Little later on. Um, some Rutger Hauer there uh, from 1987. Uh, directed by Gary Sherman. I remember he did a lot of TV stuff. Uh, next up on my list uh, to pick up uh, is uh, Wedlocked from uh, Rutger Hauer. Would love to get that one. Now, this one I watched yesterday Mercury Rising from uh, 1998. Uh, this one was really good. Much better than I remembered. And uh, uh, I think I was a little bit disappointed when I saw it in uh, 98, 99. I was kind of expecting uh, another Die Hard movie, but it's more like an Enemy of the State. Big Brothers watching you. Uh, uh, kind of movie and um, this time I uh, enjoyed it a uh, lot lot more Innocent Blonde directed by John Landis uh, this one is uh, just incredible um, it's haven't you watched uh, this one before uh, I would recommend it uh, uh, just go out and watch it get it from somewhere uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix or HBO or any anything but do try to watch it um, it's like um, yeah I don't want to spoil anything get it watched uh, also picked up another um, classic uh, the Beasts with Five Fingers. Don't remember when this came out. Uh, it's in black and white. Yeah, it's from 1947. Uh, have not seen this one before. So this is uh, going to be uh, a really nice watch. Uh, Streets of Fire. Had to pick this one up. Uh, I have it on Blu-ray. But uh, I just love this artwork. And... Uh, it's one of those movies you kind of want to have on uh, Laserdisc as well. If you're going to categorize Streets of Fire, what is it? Is it like a, a music movie or is it like a war movie, post-war movie? It's, it's, well, I'm asking you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure where I can, in, in what kind of booth I can put it. Um, yeah, you gotta help me out. Gigi, one of the better um, musical movies from uh, MGM back in the good old days. Uh, this one is from, I think, uh, at the end of 1950. It's, yeah, 58, I think. Looking forward to that one. And this one I don't know much about, uh, Wonderland, um, the um, cover intrigued me, it, uh, directed by Philip Saville, well, don't know much about it, going to watch it. Now one of the later Hitchcock movies. Uh, Torn Curtains with uh, Paul Newman. This is like, uh, it's a good movie, but it's um, like at the end where, uh, where Hitchcock uh, did uh, his totally incredible stuff. This one is from 1965, 66, I think. Um, this one I do really enjoy, Wes Craven's New Nightmare. Um, this one is really cool. Um, yeah, Freddy Krueger. Uh, one of Coen Brothers' best, after my opinion, Miller's Crossing. This is um, this is a good one, and incredible acting as well. And uh, going over to some Criterion. 
This is um, Martin Scorsese's uh, personal journey where he takes a look at, um, at uh, his childhood passion for the movies. Um, yeah, it's a portrait uh, with, with Scorsese that he talks uh, about uh, directing movies in general. Um, I love movies about movies. Also managed to pick up uh, train spotting uh, Criterion collection. Uh, incredible artwork. I really love the cover and when you see the like the glare uh, of the other characters as well uh, in the picture there. Yeah, this is a good one. And this is an enjoyable uh, little thing AP Lovecraft Necronomicon. Book of the Dead, uh, not much to say about this one, but it's uh, enjoyable and should be watched. And this one is uh, pretty cool. Mel Brooks is uh, like um, uh, him uh, or a fan uh, movie for uh, for uh, Hitchcock, and. Um, it's uh, supposed to have been asked Hitchcock what he would um, what he would change uh, if he was going to direct it, and he said uh, nothing. It was perfect. Um, after what I read, uh, Hitchcock was also at a pre-screening of a High Anxiety, and he didn't say a word. He uh, just uh, left uh, after the movie, and uh, it. So uh, Mel Brooks was like terrified that uh, he, he might just hate it and want to stop it and everything. But um, he had uh, come back a few weeks later and said it was uh, just perfect. Now some uh, Nicolas Cage guarding Tess. Uh, just an enjoyable uh, 90s um, action comedy. Uh, I think it was in the 90s. Uh, I don't remember the year. Let's see. This is fine. Mm. Ninety three, ninety four, yeah, something like that. Uh, uh. Stephen King's Tommy Knockers. I think this is one of the better, uh, like, um, like uh, miniseries uh, from uh, Stephen King books. Um, now this is a movie that really surprised me. DOA: Dead on Arrival uh, with Meg Ryan, Dennis Quaid. I just had watched uh, Inner Space uh, a year or two before this one. And I was kind of expecting like a nice action comedy um, thing, but this is a dark one. Uh, this is a really dark uh, uh, movie and um, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, looking forward to watching that again. And some Christopher Walken as well, The Prophecy. I have the, the follow-up, the Prophecy 2, and uh, now I managed to pick up the first one, so happy about that. And another Criterion. Yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite uh, Criterion releases, so happy to, to pick that one up, Brazil. And some Erika Eleniak uh, action in Bordello of Blood from Tales of the Crypt series. Not a really good one, but uh, well, I'm going to enjoy it. And now some Luferinho Sinbad on, of the Seven Seas. This is uh, after uh, the Hulk, I think. Um, not sure. I I think so. And um, yeah. 
And now, one of those really intense thrillers, the boys from Brazil. Very nice gatefold. Uh, Pioneer Special Edition. And now, some late release. The faculty. I remember watching this one and um, yeah, I think I enjoyed it. I think it kind of went a little bit overboard at the end there, but uh, yeah, I think I think I remember it as a really cool uh, cool movie. Now a really good one, Jim Carrey, Truman Show, uh, one of my favorite uh, Jim Carrey movies with uh, Man on the Moon as well. Um, and another late release. Really happy to have uh, managed to pick up this one with Matt Damon and Edward Norton Rounders. One of my early DVD pickups, I think. And also another uh, Criterion collection, uh, Boogie Nights. I think this one is better than Studio 54. It's like it's kind of the same category, um, yeah. And this one is the 1990s Captain America, uh, directed by Albert Pyun. The same who did uh, Fandom Cyborg and a lot of other action movies. What's uh, special with uh, Pyun is that he's great of doing action movies with uh, almost no budget at all. And um, well, I think Captain America was enjoyable, uh, not the best marvel uh, adaption i've seen but uh, it was uh, quite enjoyable also picked up some uh, test disc uh, laser optics 2 pioneer with some uh, yeah uh, the best show in town some um, demo stuff and another charles bronson hard times I think this is one of his better, uh, also with James Coburn and Jill Ireland. Um, this is uh, one of my favorites. Also more Elvis, I'm on the Elvis path uh, lately. So um, Elvis Aloha from Hawaii. I think this one is from uh, 72, 73. A concept, uh, I think, yeah, 73 it is. And Paul Newman, Fort Apache, The Bronx. Don't remember anything about it. Going to be good uh, watching it again. Battlestar Galactica. This one is uh, from, uh, yeah, early. <laughs> I don't remember when. Uh, 78, 1978. Um, another Lou Ferrigno movie. This one I do remember watch, uh, and it came a couple of sequels as well Cage 2 and Cage 3, I think. Uh, this is from 89. Um, uh, remember the opening scene as pretty heavy. Uh, as a kid in uh, 89, uh, like yeah, 14, 15 years old. And uh, this one I also watched here the other day and it was quite enjoyable. Undercover Blues, uh, I also had this one on VHS, um, directed by Herbert Ross with uh, Dennis Quaid and Kathleen Turner. And I must say this one is, um, well, uh, <laughs> Uh, Morty. Morty is uh, totally, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's the whole movie. Uh, <laughs> if you've seen it, you know what I mean. If not, you're going to enjoy watching this one and uh, remember Morty. He's a pretty enjoyable character. And um, now I will show you my Holy Grail on Laserdisc uh, that I also picked up. Rad. Um, with um, Talia Shear, Hal Needham uh, did uh, direct uh, this one. 
uh, and uh, Bilal is um, is the main character, uh, and also uh, Laurie Laughlin. Uh, this one I um, had on VHS and I uh, worn the tape out. Um, I uh, watched this so many times in uh, 86, 87. Came out in 86 and I was 11 or 12 years old when I first saw it. Um, I already had a BMX but then I started to like really do a BMX thing. And, um, it's been with me uh, since that day. I uh, was going to try to pick it up on uh, Blu-ray or DVD and it didn't exist on Blu-ray or DVD. And it came out now, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, maybe six months or so, on, on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, but I'm really, really happy to have uh, the Laserdisc and it's... Uh, kind of displayed on top of my uh, laserdisc shell as well. Um, one of my really, really treasured uh, discs and uh, thank you for uh, sending me this one. Uh, another um, also member of the laserdisc um, forever uh, site. You know who you are. Thank you. Uh, also I managed to pick up one box set. Uh, the Godfather trilogy uh, that is um, well, should we call it uh, uh, collector's side collector's edition uh, it's not a director's cut because it's made um, I think it's like the story is uh, it's made for uh, one TV appearance uh, because the, the second uh, Part of the trilogy is uh, part of it is uh, viewed in the first disc here, and there is like a, a mixing of um, of the the timeline. So uh, this one is um, maybe making more sense. I'm going to uh, enjoy watch uh, watch it in uh, in that um, timeline, and that's. Um, everything for for uh, this time uh, thank you for watching uh, thank you for um, um, yeah loving uh, the uh, laser disc uh, format um, and I love collect for it uh, I love the covers I love the artworks I love opening the gatefolds um, it's just totally awesome so um have a nice week thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you want to keep on uh, getting notified when i do uh, add more uh, collection updates and um yeah i i am um, any favorites you got uh, that i picked up i want to know so cheers guys later on peace Oh, 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 oh,